Great catching up with El Guapo. Chris Gutierrez is going to be back in action at UFC Fight Night on October 9th, taking on Felipe Corrales. Chris, what's up, man? How's it going? Doing good, man. Grinding. Working. Bet. Well, it's good to see you back in action. I know we haven't seen you since February. Uh, was this by design, or were you trying to get a fight in between there? What What's sort of the reason for the layoff? Yeah, of course. You know, I was trying to get a fight a little bit sooner, but all things happen for a reason, right? Yeah, so, no, for sure. I, I guess just stay ready just in case. Were there any fights that fell through, or was it just always you, you know, just kind of wait and see? Just wait and see, and then the opportunity presented itself in October, and so we made it happen. Let's talk about that last fight. Uh, the win over Andre Uhl pushed your, uh, I think, unbeaten streak to five straight. Uh, just overall thoughts on the performance. I know it was probably closer than you wanted it to be, but still a good win over a solid uh, prospect in Andre Uhl. Yeah, you know, I, I was I wanted to finish, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like you said, he's a game opponent. He wasn't just there to just get hit one time and then fall. You know, like I said, he was there to fight. And so, you know, but ultimately, you know, that's what I was seeking was the finish. But, you know, I feel good overall. I feel like my performance was good. Of course, I'm always, you know, trying to improve daily. But, you know, for whatever it was, you know, I got the win. You know, I was happy with it. Did uh, Jonathan Martinez buy you dinner for getting some revenge for him or or what? No, (laughs) no, no. (laughs) He actually did, actually. He did he? Yeah, what, what what did he now was it a nice dinner like a steak dinner or did he take you to like taco bell or mcdonald's or something yeah taco bell you know he likes i don't know man he's weird <laughs> no, okay, fair enough no it's, it's all good um obviously a good opponent here in uh corrales are you surprised you didn't get a ranked opponent i think with your unbeaten streak i talked about it there i, I figured maybe they would have given you somewhere there i know you're just happy to fight but did that surprise you at all no you no know, i'm just you know, my job's to fight you know they want to throw 15 they'll throw 15 if not then i just got to keep you know, keep working to get at it. So I'm not in no rush, man. I'm, I'm just having fun. Uh, you know, either way, I'm, I'm, I'm here to fight. So Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's talk about your opponent here. 10-2 and two record. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? Felipe Corrales um, just fought Luke Sanders a couple, uh, yeah, a couple months, a couple months back. Uh, good win. Um, you know, a respectable opponent. But um, I just, you know, he's good everywhere, but he's just not, great everywhere you know and that's my opinion on it he's a he's a well-versed fighter but as far as being like dominant in one aspect of it he's just he's just average you know he's just good okay there you go um training camp same cast of characters anything different this camp or still working with the the killer uh team over there at uh, factory x yeah still working with the killers man um you know just focusing more on me you know not so Mm -hmm. much who i'm fighting it's just Focus on my, on my craft and just trying to get my mind right. You know, that's just, you know, for, for this, like, was it six, seven month layoff uh, from February? All I've been doing is just like focusing on myself, you know, not really focusing on, on who I'm fighting, what opponent, this and that, all the other, you know, shit that goes with it. Just, just me, you know. Who have been some of the main training partners? Uh, I don't I, I don't know if Jonathan Martinez is back in the gym, but uh, what about uh, Yusuf Salal, uh, you know, Colin Anglin, guys like that, or who, who are you mainly working with? Um, I mean, we got a, we got a couple of new guys, really good, but, uh, yeah, working with, you know, Brandon, uh, Jonathan, Yusuf, uh, like I said, Colin, uh, you know, mini hunt, it's just a lot of killers in there really, but every person you grab to work with is going to be a tough day. So just grinding every day. I know it's not your weight class, but how much of a boost was that last week and seeing Anthony get that win? I mean, that was, that was an incredible performance. Oh, of course, you know, it's still a teammate at the end of the day. So, you know, it's and good for him, you know, he's able to propel his career and keep going up too. So, you know, it's always good to see someone do good, especially someone that you like and you consider a friend, you know? Well, and I like too, and I know some people didn't like the post-fight stuff that he did, but I thought it was, you know what? A lot of people were talking smack about him when he lost to Rakic, and now here he is, nice winning streak. He's back in the driver's seat. I thought it was, I thought it was cool of him for to kind of show that emotion and say, "Look, I'm here. I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere." You know, honestly, it's you. You can't make everyone happy, right? You just, yeah. you know, I, I, I think what he did was awesome. You know, the Same guy. Here, yeah. You know, Ryan Spann was talking a lot of shit about him. You know, saying that he was too old, this and that. You know whatever he was saying to him. And um, as you can see, you know, you're still a human at the end of the day. That shit still eats at you. So uh, he took it personal. And uh, after he subbed him, you know, the emotions came out a little bit. It happens. It's part of the game. Don't talk shit. You know, if if that's, that's just my opinion on it. Don't talk shit. And you don't, you know, that stuff won't happen, but he he was, and those emotions came out and he corrected himself. You know, he even apologized a little bit. He was like, I'm not, you know, I don't hate the guy. He's just, Everyone is saying this and that, and you know, I had to, I had to speak on it. So respect to him. 
Yeah, I agree with that. Um, how's the weight cut going? Uh, I imagine, you know, got plenty of notice for this one, it seemed. So, yeah, I mean, the weight cut's good. I'm, I'm right on track where I need to be. And so, yeah, the weight cut's never really been an issue for me. So, yeah. it, it, I always train. It's not like the training camp is the weight cut. I train, yeah. train, I, I still eat good. So, I'm ready. For <laughs> Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Mark Montoya, who, who else will be in the cage with you? Yeah. It's going to be uh, Adam Martinez is going to be, and then my little brother, my little brother. Oh, Dan. cool. Okay. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. Good. You know, wanted to, uh, wanted to bring him along for this one. So that's great. Um, what, I don't know much about your brother. Is he, is he a fighter as well? Or is he like, what's, what's, what's... <clears throat> my little brother? I mean, he went to school for like journalism and photography and all that. And so, um, he's going to be doing like a lot of like behind the scenes and all that, but oh, cool. But he also, he was one of my main training partners when I was down in Texas you know, so he could scrap too. And he knows what, you know, he knows what, he knows what to look for and what, you know, he, he knows a lot of my, you know, my movement, my combinations and, you know, just have someone that's really close to you, you know, especially a brother that has bled, sweat and tears with you as well in the, in the sport. So, you know, it's not like he's completely oblivious to what's going on. He's just yelling stuff. He knows what to look for, but you know, just wanted to have him close for this fight. Is this the first time he's cornered you for a UFC fight? For a UFC fight. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome, man. I love it. Um, how's the fight playing out on October 9th? How do you see it going down? You know, uh, man, I've never been, I just, I visualize things all the time, but it's, it's always me. It's right now is just everything is firing on all cylinders. So hmm. I don't want to give no predictions. I just never been that person. I just, I envision myself winning. In terms of the implications of this fight, I talked about it there. I, do you want to get one more fight in this year? Or are you looking more towards next year? I, I guess it's just assuming how the see how this fight goes. Type yeah, thing. you know, uh, hopefully everything goes well. You know, uh, December's coming up, and my uh, hopefully my teammates, the main event on that one, Anthony and uh, that racket shit. So maybe I don't know, throw me on the card somewhere. There you yeah. go. Make it Factory X versus the World, one of those uh, type of cards there as well. Too. Why not, right? Um, how many more fights do you have left on your contract? Do you know. Uh, I just got a new contract. Oh, did you? When did you sign that? Was that earlier this year? Yeah, that was, um, that was no for this fight. Oh, cool. So just for this fight, you got a new four fight deal. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. That, that must be nice though. Knowing that going into a, you know, a fight like this, just, you know, have a nice notice for the camp. And now you got a new four fight deal. Like the promotion obviously believes in you. So otherwise they wouldn't resign you. So that must be feeling uh, pretty good ahead of, ahead of this fight. Yeah. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm excited, man. Like I said, I'm firing on all cylinders. You know, I, my mind's right. And, um, you know, body's keeping up, you know, that's all I can ask for. And I'm excited. I just, I just, you know, I'm kind of done with the talking and thinking now. I'm just ready to just go and just, you know, we're, we're three weeks away. It sucks, you know, all that time, but it just gives me more, gives me three more weeks to just prepare even more. So I'm ready. Two more quick questions. First okay. one. How's your son doing? I don't know if you're getting to see him or not or whatever. Um, it's obviously terrible. It's, I mean, we talk about this every interview. Yeah, I mean, you should fun. be seeing your son on a regular basis. And as a fellow dad, I definitely feel for you. But uh, what's the latest with him? When was the last time you spoke to him? Uh, 2018. It's been that long, really? Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. So. yeah you know, I appreciate that. You know, but, um, you know, I I got people, you know, I got, I got a good uh, group behind me that's helping me. Um, you know, and so we're, you know, we're firing on all cylinders trying, mm. uh, it's hard, you know, it's hard cause you, it's really hard to even talk about it because you say the wrong thing, you get screwed, you know? So it's like, you know, we're fighting, you know, we're yeah. still well, that's good to hear. And I, I just bring it up as well. And not yeah. only cause I'm, I'm a dad as well, but also because I don't think there are a lot of people know single fathers don't have a lot of rights, you know? So I, I want to kind of get the word out there as well that like oh, this happens to a lot of Americans, a lot of people in general. Right. So yeah, like I, my, my case is no special, right? And I always make clear it's mine's no special. It's not better than anyone else's. It's just, it's another statistic. I'm just another one. And but it's like, it's just too many of that going on, you know. And yeah. Yeah, kids, kids need both parents, you know. But that's that's the most important part is you know they need both parents. Hopefully, you know. I don't know. I, I always yeah. say, for this fight, I'll always say you know I, not even for this fight, you know. There's a reason why I'm on a four or five win streak. You know, I made a promise to him a while back that, you know, I, I will see you again. And until then, I'm just going to keep, I got to do what I got to do on my side. So when I do get him, I can give him the best life, you know? Very well said. Yeah, I yeah. agree. All right. On a lighter note, we're not going to end that way. We're going to end on a, on a nice positive note here. Uh, what what are you watching TV wise? Because when I talked to Jonathan Martinez, he said you were, he was watching Vampire's Diaries or something. 
I am not watching anything. He's <laughs> watching that. No, I, I'm just watching, you know, whatever is really on TV. I, I don't really have like a set show or anything. Yeah. Anything like that. I just watch whatever, you know, like last night I was watching Transformers. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah. I was a little surprised when Jonathan said that. I was like, I don't know where that came from. I don't know if he's trying to be funny or whatever. So no, no. he will actually be watching like vampire diaries and he'll come out and he'll just be like, you come out and like knock on the door, boom, boom. And I'll be like, what? And he's like, this happened in this episode. And then he'll be like, I got to go back. And he'll go back to his room to watch. And I'm like, I don't care. It's not- <laughs> there you go. Uh, Chris, thanks so much for doing this, man. Always a pleasure. Anyone you want to thank any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, um, you know, uh, social media, you can catch me at, uh, you know, uh, El Guapo MMA and C. Gutierrez MMA on Twitter, uh, Facebook, you know, uh, El Guapo. Uh, my team, Factory X, of course, my management team, Iridium Sports, all my sponsors, all my family, and uh, all my friends and everyone that's ever, you know, loved and support me and, and the continued love and support. I appreciate it and I love you all you guys back.